I'm sure by now you've come across these strange pixelated squares in advertisements like this or like this. It's kind of like a pixelated uh, crossword puzzle maze thing, but it's not. It's a two-dimensional barcode. The most popular one, they're called QR codes. And they're designed to tell your smartphone to do something, whether that's open up a website, a map, or add a contact. Now, they're a lot in print media these days, but you're also going to be seeing them when you're out and about, say, shopping at Best Buy or at Macy's. So here's what to do when you come across one. Step one, download one of the many free scanning apps. The easiest thing to do is just go to your smartphone's app store and search QR to find one. Step two, activate the app and assume the scanning position. Aim your camera at the code and it'll instantly tell your phone to pull up whatever the code is for, like a video with more information. And they're all different. It can uh, get a little addicting. Step three, enjoy the wonderful surprise that has been revealed to you and keep scanning. Even if you don't have time to view whatever it is, you can always go scan happy now and pull up a history of your previous scan to view it later. Now there's another kind of scanning code you'll come across that isn't a QR code. It's from Microsoft. It's called a Microsoft tag. Say you go to Lowe's in the garden section where I got this little guy. All the plants there have a Microsoft tag you scan with the Microsoft special app. It's free. And it tells you how to take care of the plant. So I'm gonna follow that because I don't want to kill him. Companies are really just starting to test this all out now. It's meant to be a convenient way to pull up something on your smartphone. In fact, some people who are watching this video right now are doing so because they scanned the code right next to the print version of my story in the newspaper. Pretty cool, huh? For the Miami Herald, I'm Bridget Carey.